Go get your clarinet now and a mirror and let's try this. Today we're going to talk about crossing the break. Uh, what I'd like you to do first of all is just play a low G with me. So let's give that a try right now. Now the reason I have you do that is because I just want you to establish a nice full sound. Make sure you're blowing air all the way through the bell of the clarinet and just a nice full sound. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to play that low G and we're going to pop up to the D. So, and for absolute beginners that's just the same fingering. You're just going to pivot your thumb up to onto this register key here. So let's give that a try. And I'll just give you a slight head nod for a cue up to the D. Great, now let me tell you what I usually see with my students when I have them do this. I will see some kind of a big crunch or big chin movement when they go to the upper note. And it's happening for a couple reasons. Uh, first of all, probably their amateur is not strong enough on the lower note. And when they go to the upper note, they realize that they have to have a stronger amateur to get to that note. So your body is basically telling you that. So now, if you want to have the most efficient crossing of the break, where it's not a break, it's smooth, you should try to have that same firm amateur on the lower note, on the low G, as you do on the D. And so what is the break? The break is basically a big gap in sound, kind of like seeing daylight between two different notes. Um, or it might be, basically you can hear the two notes together and there might be an accent on one of those notes. So you can tell that there's a register change. So what you want to try to do is not have that. You want it to sound like an overall even instrument sound. So let's go from the uh, G to the D again and try to make it as smooth as possible. If you want to, do not play with me this time. I'll play it twice and really look at my chin. Great, now go with me this time. All right, and if you can, make sure you have a mirror right next to you so that you can look at your chin. of reasons why you could have breaks in your sound. You could have some instrument problems, a reed problem, uh, your armature is not firm enough, you're not having not, you do not have enough air. Um, right now, because we're only using the thumb, it shouldn't be a finger problem unless your thumb is going really slow over this uh, register key. If it's going really slow then you might have a break in the sound. So this is your goal now. You should try this from the low G to D. Try it every day this week if you can. Then go from A to E, F to um, um, B flat to F. Uh, if you can do that, just give it a try. That'd be great. If you want to learn more about embouchure, articulation, and hand position on clarinet, come to clarinet.